We got big sad greatness. Let's see what this nigga talking about, y'all. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Ronnie B, aka DJ Ron One, and we back with another one. Hopefully everything is good with you guys, from your money to your families, and most importantly, may y'all health. Please take care of yourselves and one another. To my rundown crew, what's poppin', man? Hopefully everything is good with you guys as well. Thank you so much for spreading my channel, giving these videos thumbs up, your suggestions. Thank you guys. Everything that's happening is because of you guys. Please share the channel. If you are new here, thank you for stopping by. Please join the Rundown crew by hitting the subscribe button down below. We're going up over here. Good things. Leave me a suggestion, thumbs up, leave me a message, comments, all that shit, man. I love to hear from you. Today, though, we got Playboy Crip, Big Sad. Big Sad is one of these niggas out here, though, in L.A. I've been doing his thing on the low, you know what I mean? He fuck with everybody. He fuck with the Hoover niggas, the Blood niggas. Even though he a Crip, fuck with the Hoovers, fuck with the Bloods, nigga. He fuck with everybody. Slim for Hunter, he got music with him. So that nigga all over, making shit happen, making shit moves, and getting this shit, you know, getting this shit out there. We finna get into his new song. It's called, I think, uh, Greatness. That's the name of it, Greatness. We finna see what this nigga talking about and give our commentary like we do, man. Come on, let's go. What up, O's? Homie got the burner. Look at the big homie right there with the burner. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas big smoking, doing they shit. That shit hard though. Big Sad always doing shit in his neighborhood. Where you know what I'm saying? He he fuck with his neighborhood tough. You know what I mean? A lot of niggas now is taking pictures and taking, not pictures, but um taking stories and taking shit that same shit that Nip did and putting on for their neighborhood. The gentrification shit that's going on in L.A. So a nigga on this shit. You know what I'm saying? Back to it. raw and uncut this video is, you know what I'm saying? This shit is right in that nigga neighborhood. You got clothes clothes on the motherfucking porch, walking through the fucking projects, neighborhood, apartment complex where all the niggas be at. Like, I love this kind of shit, man. Raw and uncut, keeping it gangster, keeping it real. You know what I'm saying? Straight from the flat line where we're supposed to be, nigga. No raw and uncut with no chaser, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's, uh, that's how it should be, you feel me? Back to it. Look at that shit. That's they block right there, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I see some other interview shit with Big Sad where you stand in front of a, an apartment complex and look like that's that exact same spot. That's where them niggas be at. That's they hood. That's they block. That's where niggas get their money at. That's where them niggas jumped off the porch at. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I love that. That's that. What's that word? Authenticity? Often, I think that's the word. That's what this gives. 100% authenticity. You feel me? Back to it. My house praying I get on. You know I miss my niggas in heaven. Through me they live on. She ain't stick around with a nigga. I know I did wrong. Add her to the list of them bitches that I'ma shit on. Add her to the name of the list of bitches I done shit on. You know what I'm saying? When a nigga down, trying to figure shit out. Got a dream. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes some of them bitches don't believe in your dream. And then when you get on, they gonna... Come on back around. They want to be your friend. They want to say what's up. They want to reminisce. But in the back of your mind, that's motivation for you to go out there and get it and make it happen. And that's what he happened and that's what he's talking about right there in that little bar that he's spit. You feel me? Bars. <laughs> back to it. I be where it's gutter and grimy. We keep a stick on. Niggas don't belong in this area. Better get on. How you let your mama starve? How you let your partners like? Shooting at you bitches. We ain't tolerate none of that. Tolerate, tolerate, none of that. Big sad heart, though. A nigga be on this shit. And another thing I like about this nigga's music, like, he a crip nigga from Playboy. True. But he don't be over-exaggerating his cripping and talking all about cripping. That nigga talk about his shit, what he owned that day, shit that he wore, shit that he drank. Just like the rest of the niggas. But I feel like he ain't all super cripped out like a lot of these niggas and doing all the extra shit. That's the main reason why I fuck with Big Sad. Shout out to Big Sad. Blood of Sinal. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a reach out to this nigga and see if I can get a sit down and like pick his brain and, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
My nigga hard, fuck a big sad. Anyway, back to it. Niggas always talking about some snitching. I see plenty rats. Six mixtapes running back. You hear plenty facts. Playboy nothing. I don't care if you ain't feeling it. Bitch, you got a nigga up in prison. You ain't visit shit. See? You know what I'm saying? You don't hear him say shit like that very often in his songs. You know what I'm saying? But he do. He do. But he don't be super duper banged out and extra though all the time. That's just what I feel. I mean, y'all might be like, shut up, nigga. Yeah, you do. But I don't feel like he do. You know what I'm saying? The nigga hard as fuck. Nigga put on for his city, put on for his people. You gotta fuck with it, man. Back to it. I ain't seen a rapper like me since 50 Cent. You ain't gangbang in middle school, so I ain't hearing it. You know very well who you are. Okay. He giving props to be got that juicy. You know what I'm saying? People everywhere who you... And obviously, Biggie sampled it too, but, you know, people gonna more reference it for the Biggie than the uh, Juicy Fruit, the original. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, I know who it is. See, Juicy Fruit, I know who it is. But I'm just saying, like, that's paying homage to the shit. Biggie flipped it. Nobody ever flipped it like that. So Big Sad flipping it. You know what I'm saying? But he gave him, gave him, gave him a prop. Rest in peace to Big, B-I-G. He was hard. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. You know, I'm a, I'm a Cali nigga. But he was hard, nigga. Anyway, back to it. Don't let him hold you down. See, I think it big sad hard, man. You know what I'm saying? I haven't heard nobody use the juicy sample, the juicy fruit sample since the notorious big. So he used it, he flipped it, and I think it came out dope. Personally, I could be wrong. Give me y'all comments below what y'all think. Did he flip it right? Did he he could have added something else? Could he could have said something different? I would love to hear what y'all gotta say about it, man. Back to it. Can't stop your greatness. Keep on doing what you do. Thugged out. Ain't nothing you can tell me. Juvenile Hall, I was beating on my celly. There's nothing you can tell me. Juvenile Hall, I was beating up my celly. <laughs> That's how it be, bro. That's how it be behind the walls, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you be, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, say something. You having a bad day. Nigga, they use something of yours without telling. Bunch of shit. Nigga, he didn't clean his shit. You know what I'm saying? It's a gang of reasons why you can beat up on your celly and be in there and catch your face like that all the time. Y'all who know, you know. Those who know, you know. You feel me? Back to it. I can't hold no bitch because my mama never helped me. Never went to school at Audubon and they expelled me. How you fucking on that bitch? Nigga claiming that you broke. Bitch, that's a trick, but that's the nigga that you call your folks. How you fucking with a nigga that claiming you broke? Something, 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 and the claiming that that's they fault. I mean, shit. Nigga can't do shit with no money. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you can't take no females out. You can't go get no clothes. You can't go eat. You know, money ain't everything, but nigga, you gotta have money to survive. Nigga, nigga, pockets don't eat you. Fuck, nigga, what can you do? Sure the fuck ain't gonna get no pussy. Ain't no females trying to fuck with no broke niggas. This is why niggas out here hungry, greedy, thirsty, trying to get it. Because a nigga can't do nothing with no money. You feel me? Back to it. Bitch, I got killers running with me. We on every coast. No, I brought the walkie with the spray in this Saturday show. See them on the gram, so I know they want to take me out. But they won't run up on me, though. No, we gonna bang it out. See you smoke. Is that how it go? Is that how usually how it weeks? I mean, how it weeks. How it works. You know what I'm saying? Niggas zap all that shit, but won't do nothing on the face-to-face -face fade type shit. Right? I think I think all this facade, gangster, how hard these niggas be thinking they is or they claim they is. Pussy. Niggas is pussy, man. A lot of more niggas is pussy these days than niggas who really with the business. I'm just saying, man. Back to it. Ray changed his life, I was still hanging out. Y'all pussy niggas sucking dick to see what fame about. Wanna see my little sisters make it, wanna see them win. My little brother and my two big brothers get about the pen. Pops beat murder. Get I mean, think about that, nigga. If you truly give a fuck about those around you, you want them to, you you want to see them win it too. You want to see them prospering, following their dreams, doing what they're supposed to be doing. I seen something where it says, if one of your homies is on, it's not their job to put you on. You know what I'm saying? It's not their job to put you on. It's their job to give you an opportunity to put yourself on. That's, I think, how it should go. I'm not supposed to just give you shit, but I can give you an opportunity to make your own shit. That's how niggas and crews win. 
know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas nowadays, everybody's supposed to be a leader. Everybody want to be a leader. Everybody want to do this. Everybody ain't meant to lead. If niggas play their position and just accept that that's not for them, niggas can make it a whole lot further as a crew. That's why you don't see no more crews and or, or fucking even groups of music. You don't see that shit no more because everybody think they a boss. Everybody think they the man. Just saying. Back to it. No, he can't do no bed. Check who really put on for that shit. Niggas know he did. Niggas in a one-two step. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Niggas, can, if you can one-two step, nigga, you straight. You straight. You ain't got to know the new dances and all the new corny-ass weird shit, nigga. If you got your, your step on, you on. You on. Look at it. Shit look hard. Back to it. Hold you down. Reach for the stars. One thing I noticed too, you know, he ain't got a whole lot of ass shaking and bitches with their asses out and shit and twerking and all the stupid other shit that niggas have in their video. That's another element that I like about this out this video is he ain't got all that extra bullshit in there to kind of lot to contaminate the video. This is just a straight hood kickback summer <clears throat> come around my block and this is what it is. That's what it feel like to me. What do you guys think? Excuse me. Yeah, what do y'all think? Leave it in the comment section below. Back to it. Your greatness keep on doing what you do. I feel it like this, you know what I'm saying? I was living a life of crime, you know what I'm saying? And the right people... Uh, you gotta... The highest level of flattery is trying to copy you or, or doing something like that. Like, there's obviously a huge respect. <coughs> big sad guy for Notorious Big. Not only did he use his hook... But he put some actual audio from what Biggie is saying and put it in the record, nigga. That's, that's, if that ain't paying homage and respect, if that ain't paying homage and respect, I don't know what is. You know what I'm saying? Now Biggie's kids, his estates, can eat off this as well. Just saying. Back to it. Worry about material. I just happen to be lucky and got off the streets. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not gonna be the one to tell somebody not to hustle. You know what I'm saying? Because I used to hustle to feed my family. You heard that? I'm not the one to tell somebody not to hustle because I had to hustle to eat my to feed my family. I'm like that too. Like I'll never knock a nigga hustling what he doing. Nigga, if that's what you do, that's how you get out, nigga. Do you. Do you. You know what I'm saying? How you get your money is how you get your money. If you doing that for whatever your reasons are, and I can respect that. You feel me? Anyway, I'm just saying that's my get down. Y'all might feel different, but that's how I feel. Back to it. Only thing I can tell somebody is just to be careful, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you're doing it for, do it for a reason. You know very well who you are. Don't... See? Nigga got the Playboy Bunny, you know what I'm saying? WLA, Playboy GC, Playboy Gangsta Crip, then a gangsta car. Fuck with it, big sad, nigga hard, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm pretty sure pretty soon you're gonna see some other niggas from Playboy from his era coming out because he gonna put niggas on i bet you anything watch watch out for that coming watch back to it Let him hold you down. reach for the stars yes, in the name, oh, but not but not like you, like you. Can't stop your look at that that nigga chain hard i mean chain that nigga watch hard than a motherfucker nigga Monkey diamonds and crested the fucking <clears throat> the bezel shit Nigga got some tattoos. Got some scars too. But yeah, that motherfucking watch hard, nigga. That's that's probably a house right there. You feel me? Nigga got the sprite with the crip rag. You feel me? I'm pretty sure he's about to pull some lean in that motherfucker because that's what he do. But that shit hard though. Back to it. Greatness, keep on doing what you do. Big sad. Greatness. Dope song, you know what I'm saying? Big sad hard. I'm telling y'all nigga, that nigga hard as fuck, man. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you guys for fucking with me. Please share this channel. Please leave me a comment. Please give it a thumbs up. All that stuff. Thank you guys. Everything that's happening is because of you guys. Again, I cannot thank you enough. I'm trying to get a podcast, some other shit. Anybody y'all know who trying to promote a shit, they music, need a reaction, tell them hit me in my DMs, man. You already know. Until the next one. Blessings to you and yours, y'all. We gone.